Hey guys, Sock here from Sock Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Framio Photo Frames. Now, Framio is a Wi Fi photo frame that allows you to send photos and videos directly from your smartphone to the Framio Photo Frame. Here you can see three different sizes a 7 inch, a 10 inch, and a massive 15 inch model. You can buy them in various sizes based on your needs. Links will be down below. Now let me quickly demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about when I say that you can instantly share photos and moments from your smartphone directly to the actual frame. But I do want to quickly let you know that to power on the frame, your frame is very easy. You simply plug in the included adapter into an outlet and that's it. Then you go through some simple setup process and this is what you will see a blank screen ready to be set up. All right, so let me now show you how to uh, send any photo from any phone to any Framio app in the world. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your Play Store, okay? And you simply wanna download the Framio application. Now, once you download that, what you wanna do is you wanna click open. Now, in my case, I have it right here. I'm gonna tap, it's gonna launch the application. When I launch the application, it is going to populate all the photos on my phone right inside it okay so i basically all i do is i choose the photo i want to send to the uh, frame for example let's grab this one right here and then what i do is i tap on send and what it's going to ask me to do is it's going to ask me to send it to certain frames so this is the frame that my mother has in her own house i can send a photo from my phone to my mother's frame that's fantastic. Now that's just mine. That's my uh, Framio frame Saki in the living room. But what I want to do is I want to send it to this brand new frame. Now this frame, like I said, could be anywhere in the world. This frame could be a gift to your friend. Uh, this frame could be a gift to your father, to your brother or your friends. And then you can send photos from your uh, phone uh, to the frame. So because it's a brand new frame, I have to add this frame as a friend on my smartphone app. So what I have first to do is tap on the friend button here, okay? And then you have to enter a code that the person, the owner of this frame, whether that's you, a friend, or a family member, is going to get give you by tapping add a friend uh, icon. So that's the code you have to now enter here. Now let's see what happens. 4516346321. Then you click OK and take a look at that. The list appears right here. Uh, that's the father living room. So I'm going to give this to my father and he's going to put this into his living room. And I even get a little notification on the top that says a new friend has been added. So then I select my father. OK, I click on the uh, icon, continue icon. All right. You can even write a caption for your for your photo if you so desire. You can write the caption. It's going to pop right there when I send it. So I'm just going to say hi, okay? Just as an example, I'm just going to say hi. I'm going to say send again. And of course, this photo frame can either be in portrait or landscape orientation. Now, in my case, it wants me to select the most important part of a photo, which I'm going to do with my finger. So that's going to be uh, me and my wife. And then I'm going to tap send photo. Now, let's see what happens. Boom, it popped up right here. It has a caption at the bottom. I have a new notification that you received a brand new photo. And of course, this is all touch screen, so I can X out the notification if I don't want it. Now, let me send one more to see uh, how great it is. So let me grab uh, this one right here. Uh, okay, this one right here. And by the way, if you wanna send multiple pictures at the same time as a batch, you can simply press and hold and select all the photos you want to send over at the same time. So either send a single photo or multiple photos, it's up to you. I'm going to tap on send. Again, I'm going to send to my father, but I can send to a lot of people at the same time at any part of the world. Remember, that's the key. Now I'm going to click on my father. Okay, I'm going to tap on send and take a look at what happens. I'm not going to put a caption on this one. I'm going to tap it again. Now, again, I'm going to say okay to this. It's just a pop-up. Select the most important part. It's going to be the face. I'm going to send the photo and it's going to pop right there in a second. All right. And that's how easy it is to send multiple photos to any frame in the world, whether that's your living room, your mother's living room, your father's bedroom or your friend's office. Doesn't matter. Now, let's move on to the actual frame. And I'm going to give you a couple tips and tricks about the actual frame. Remember, it is a touch screen. 
So there's a bunch of things you can do with the frame. First and foremost, if you tap the screen, you get a menu. You can turn it off if you don't want it. You can go to settings. From the settings, you can change the display brightness. Uh, if you want something more bright, less bright, it's all going to be up to you. Okay. You can also go into my friends and manage all your friends. Now, Saki is this phone right here. So that's one friend that I have from my phone. I can send it to this frame and you have all these options. You can set your Wi-Fi. You do have to connect the Wi-Fi. Uh, that's how this frame receives all the photos. You can even go in here and manage the photos if you so desire. All the photos can be managed right from here. Now, when I go back to the actual screen, I can swipe between photos with my finger, no problem. Take a look at that. That's fantastic as well. Now, I do want to mention real quick that you can also send video files to the frame. So if I have a video file here, I can do the same thing. I can tap on send. Again, select the frame that you want to send it to. I'm going to send it to my father. I'm going to click send, uh, skip the caption. Let's see what happens. So you can even select the area of the video that you want to send over. You don't have to send the whole thing. I'm just going to send the whole thing. I'm going to tap on send video. It should take a couple of seconds. It's going to pop right here. Okay, and once you have the video here at the bottom, you can press play and you can actually play the video on your Framio photo frame. That's absolutely fantastic. And again, it's a touch screen. I can X out of the notifications if I don't want them. And again, if you tap on this one, you have a bunch of options. You can even hide photos. So if I don't want that one photo, I can just hide it. Now I'm back to the two photos. Also, I can tap on this again and I can change the, uh, I can go from, I can do the fit to frame option. So if I wanna see the whole photo, you get a blur effect around the edges, but the whole photo appears in the actual photo frame. Or if I wanna fit the screen, the entire photo of the screen, I can just say fill the frame, then you get this effect, but it does highlight the most important part. So you have all these various options, as you can see, which is great. And also very important, you can have this photo frame either in portrait orientation, as you can see, or I can just turn it around to landscape orientation and the photo adjusts all by itself. So you don't have to worry about anything, but you could have it in both orientations, no problem. So that's basically the Frameo photo frame. Send photos from any smartphone to any Frameo compatible photo frame anywhere in the world. I will drop the links to Frameo website down below just select your country, then pick a retailer like Amazon to purchase a frame of any size you like. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?